<coughs> Hello, friends. <coughs> it's me yet again. And, uh, yeah. So, here is the, uh, the updated, uh, thingamajig. And, uh, Yeah, let me just show you what it can do. <clears throat> so, basically it's the same thing. Uh, you know, I've just added more uh, neutrons. Um, each neutron can spin independent of the uh, larger uh, assembly, and uh, two of the neutrons are filled with um, spheres of uh, salt water. Uh, this one and this one, and uh, I've redesigned the commutator system. I simplified it really um, so that uh, the neutrons are on all the time, and it's just the uh, the outer seas that are uh, pulsed by this single uh, commutator system. Yeah, if you look closely, uh, you'll see a couple of inner rings. Um, that's for the uh, capacitor plates, which I haven't uh, installed yet, but I plan to at a future date. And uh, what I have done uh, is designed a, uh, a new commutator system. Let me just show you here. So uh, yeah, basically it's the same thing, well sort of the same thing as before, there's these two, uh, two commutator disks um, and uh, you know they pulse the neutrons and uh, the C's um, at the same time. Basically there's two sets, or there will be two sets of capacitors which will be synchronized uh, perfectly by the commutator system so that there'll be um, a synchronous uh, DC um, spike in the uh, in the fields so that um, you know the two coils will basically uh, spike right at their um, almost when they're closest to each other and this will create uh, a very strong uh, repulsion, a brief repulsion uh, pulse, which uh, creates a far more um, efficient system. Because right now it's pretty inefficient. I mean, you know, the U-trons are on uh, constantly and it sucks away a lot of juice. And, um, you know, I thought it would be more efficient to have only one disc uh, less resistance um, from the brushes, but as it turns out, it didn't really uh, didn't really prove to be that advantageous. And uh, yeah, um, the reason I didn't create uh, this system with my current uh, prototype is because it would require uh, 24 um, carbon brushes, whereas uh, Currently, I'm using six, although with the capacitor plates, it'll be eight brushes on my current system. So, uh, you know, that's a lot of drag if there were 24 brushes, and um, I think I need a larger uh, prototype before that happens. Yeah. So, uh, with my uh, U-trons, um, I found that adding two more didn't really, uh, didn't really do much at all. <laughs> 
like in terms of increasing the speed of the system. Uh, what I should have done, instead of adding two new uh, U-trons, I should have added uh, three new uh, C C coils, and that would have given a more um, what well, would have doubled the the speed of the system instead of what I did, uh, which has kind of um, what well, hasn't really given any new uh, speed to the system. Yeah. So uh, one more thing to mention, um, here is, uh, you know, the second prototype, version 2.0, uh, yeah, it's uh, nothing more than a bicycle uh, rim at this point, but um, what I'm going to do is uh, use it as the central um, rotating part of the next uh, prototype and um, you know the U-trons will sit inside of it kind of like that and uh, I'll be converting to uh, probably to aluminum but also um, stainless steel to some degree so that I can get away from the uh, balsa wood which uh, you know kind of uh, limits my speed yeah so this was just kind of like a proof of concept uh, prototype and I'm uh, I'm pretty much done with this design like I'm just gonna add the cap capacitor plates and then that's it then I'm switching to the new uh, prototype and uh, yeah Hopefully that one will actually do something fantastic. <laughs> okay, so I guess I'll just turn it on. That'll be my final uh, piece, piece de resistance, as they call it. So here we go. Shit. Um, okay, that didn't work. Uh, one sec. Try it again here. Okay, there we go. See, it's pretty slow. I mean, it's not really like gaining speed. It's just holding its speed. Okay, turning it off. I think my nine volts are gonna explode here at any, any moment. They're very hot. I'll get away from them eventually. But anyways, yeah, that is all for today. Uh, stay tuned. Maybe, maybe next time uh, you'll get to see the thing levitate or something. <laughs> okay, thanks for watching. Bye. See you next time.